The earth and the human body is a timepiece. Get to know a deeper understanding of time with horologist Stephen Richardson. If I ask you a question, what is the speed of the sun? And you're a watchmaker. And you're not a watchmaker or a scientist. You would go and Google it and tell me the Google question. In middle school, you was asked the question of distance. If you cross the street and it's 100 paces, how, and you're moving at two seconds a pace, how long would it take you to get across the street? And you would give that question. So I'm gonna pose that question today. We in New York, <clears throat> I have a friend that's in California. California is three hours behind. Just say the sun comes around in New York at six o'clock in the morning. I call my friend in California. Is the light, is the sun out? He said, no. You're three hours ahead of us. I say, the sun is out here. He said, I say, the sun is going to be out here in three hours. It takes the sun three hours to get from New York to California. What's the distance between New York and California? 2,700 miles. Okay? L.A. 2,700 miles divided by three takes it three hours to get there. That means the sun is traveling at 929 miles per hour. This is simple mathematics, but you have to think for yourself. This is the speed of the sun. I'm not the only one talking about this. I may be one of the few that's talking about it in this field as a horologist, as a watchmaker. So you have many engineers, you have many uh, uh, people that's in um, aviation, you have people that's in uh, the marina industry, you have scientists, doctors, lawyers, you have many people talking about it from their perspective. But what's critical of my perspective is that I deal with time. And we get our time from the moon and the sun. It's imperative as a watchmaker that I continue growing and to can continue understanding myself and continue under questioning myself and, and questioning authorities. This is the only way I can learn.